Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we go ahead and building RN Trento. Trento was the first of two Trento class cruisers. They were the first heavy cruisers built by the Italian Regina Maria or the Royal Navy. The ship was laid down in February 1925, launched in October 1927, and was commissioned in April 1929. Trento is very lightly armored with only a 70mm or 2.8 inch thick armored belt, though she possessed a high speed and heavy main battery of 8 203 mm or 8 inch guns. Though normally, normally built under the restrictions of the Washington Naval Treaty, the two cruisers significantly exceeded the displacement limits imposed by the treaty. Trento frequently served as the flagship of the cruiser division throughout the 1930s. During the pre-war period, she was almost made lengthy trips uh, abroad, including a tour of South America from May to October 1929 and a deployment to China from January to June of 1932 to protect Italian nationals during the Chinese Civil War. She also took part in the numerous naval reviews held for visiting foreign leaders. After Italy entered the war in uh, June 1940, Trento saw extensive action in the Mediterranean Sea, including the battles of Cabria, Cape Spartivento, and Cape Matapan in July and November 1940 and March 1941, respectfully. She was also present during the inconclusive first and second battles of the Cert, and at the latter, she uh, severely damaged a British destroyer. Trenton was also frequently tasked with escorting convoys to supply Italian forces in North Africa as well as interdicting British convoys to Malta. During one of the later missions, to attack the British Operation Harpoon Convoy in June 1942, Trento was torpedoed twice, first by a Bristol Brit Beaufort torpedo bomber, and then sunk by submarine HMS Umbri with heavy loss of life. Uh, the Trento here is a really cool cruiser, and uh, one of our kind of expanding um, line of Italian Navy cruisers. Um, I believe we do have a heavy cruiser in the line, so this is our second one, and I think the Trento is one of the more... Um, recognizable names for the World War II Italian Navy. Um, so with that, let's go and dive in here to take a look at the build and then obviously go into the tutorial from there. So starting off with, we have the bow of the ship, obviously with the candy cane striping, very typical for um, the ships of the Italian Navy. So obviously we had to include that. We then have the two forward batteries. Again, these are two 8-inch or 203 millimeter guns and two, two turrets. We then have the conning tower, the bridge, um, some anti-aircraft weapons, and obviously the mast with the rangefinders and all those instrumentation up on top there. We also have the uh, secondary battery, so the first battery located here, and then the second battery located right here, right next to the funnel. Obviously your first funnel there, the midship section has some of the lifeboats for um, obviously you know, abandoning ship and all that stuff. Uh, we then have the torpedo launchers on it, and then the third and final secondary battery position. Uh, the rear mass and all a bunch of anti-aircraft gun positions, range finders, the second fundal, all that stuff in this section. And then lastly, you have your two rear guns on the, or two rear turrets on the back of the ship here. So overall, it's a really cool build. Should make an awesome addition to your uh, Royal um, Italian navies, but without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer number one. Now, to go ahead and get started before we jump into starting to place blocks, I do want to go ahead and mention real quick how to position this ship if you do want to have this in the water. As I imagine, most of you guys are going to want to build this ship in some sort of water, so to make sure you position this correctly here, layer one is going to be sitting at this level. The blue concrete here representing that water level. Very important that you make sure that you position this correctly. Um, obviously, the layer here in line with that water level because if not, it is not going to sit properly and will look really weird. So just make sure you have that good to go. But anyways, to get started with, we're going to have a green terracotta block and then a mossy cobblestone wall forward and then a green stained glass pane after that to go ahead and get us started. We're going to go and then take our green terracotta. We're going to go back from this middle block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31 green terracotta blocks back. Let me go ahead and just double check our count. So it is actually going to be 32 blocks in length, so 32, and then 33 if we count this first one that we placed down here in the front. So just make sure that's all squared away there and good to go. 
Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some dark prismarine slabs. We're gonna place down two top slabs back and then two dark oak trap doors. After that, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a green stained glass pane and then a mossy cobblestone wall after the green stained glass pane. We're gonna follow this up with a warped trap or a warped sign on both sides here of this glass pane. Now, once that's all finished, we're gonna go ahead and grab our dark oak with fence gates. We're gonna place down a fence gate that's gonna come off this trap door here to both sides. And depending on what uh, you're doing with the ship, if you have the ship displayed out of water, I'd recommend probably placing down skeleton skulls on those for the screws. If you're not uh, doing the ship in the water, or if you are going to do the ship in the water, uh, you can go ahead and very simply use birchwood slabs as an alternative. Now, after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our end rods. We're going to place down, or sorry, two lightning rods. We're going to place down two lightning rods going forward from those fence gates. Then we're going to place down another top slab to both sides. And we're going to go ahead and then place down two dark prismarine stairs going back from those slabs. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block to both sides. Coming off that block, we're going to place down a warp sign, again, to both sides. And then we want to go ahead and grab our lightning rods and place down two lightning rods going back. And same thing over here, like so. Um, and then also we're going to place down a fence gate that's going to come off this uh, slab here. It's going to be opened up like that to toward the slabs. And then again, whatever you did for your props, you're going to do the same thing coming off these fence gates here. So again, it could be either be the slabs or end rod or skeleton schools, whichever you prefer. We're going to go and then take our green terracotta blocks and we're going to go ahead and go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 green terracotta blocks. And we'll double check our count here. And it's going to be 23. So my counting is all off today. But it's going to be 23 blocks going forward from this one here. So you should have a 20, total of 24 if we include that block we previously placed. Now, after we have that done, we're going to do the same thing here on the other side. We're just going to bring this all the way forward to the same spot as we did on the other side, like so. Now, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some green stained glass panes. And we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 green stained glass panes. Two dark oak with trap doors after those glass panes. And the same thing is going to be done over here on this side. So like that. And our two dark oak with trap doors. Now the, for the front here, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls going forward. Then two green stained glass panes. And then one dark oak with trap door like this to both sides. We'll then close these blocks, or delete those blocks if you haven't placed, and that right there will conclude everything we need to do for layer one. So pretty straightforward layer. Here's what it should look like from the top down view. And um, that right there is gonna basically create our uh, keel of the ship. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our uh, next uh, layer, which is gonna be layer two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down an anisite wall on top of this glass pane here. And then we're gonna take our stone blocks and go back one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks. To the side of the last two stone blocks, we're gonna place down two andesite walls, then two light gray stained glass panes going forward. Or rather, my bad, it's actually gonna be um, one wall on both sides and then two light gray stained glass panes. So my apologies. And then one iron trap door to both sides here. If you're on Java, you can go ahead and use the command slash give at P and it'll be Minecraft debug underscore stick. So this right here, this command, press and enter will give you this glowing stick. What you can do is you can left click the iron trap door to get selected open false prompt pop up. We'll right click this and we can actually set the trap doors to lay flat along the side there. Um, if you're on a different version, obviously that's not really something you can do. Um, so you can go ahead and substitute these for a birchwood uh, trap door or um, not include them. Um, even that's a couple of options for you. Um, after that though, we're going to go ahead and place down a white wool block and a red wool block. These right here are going to be part of our candy cane striping, which we'll basically get into in the next layer. And then we want to place down another andesite wall on both sides of the white uh, wool there, and then a stone block on both sides of the red. We're going to go ahead and then take our stone, we're going to place down a row of three across. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, red block here, and then a stone block again to both sides. And then we want to go ahead and place down a red uh, wool block to both sides and then a stone block um, like so. So basically it's going to look something like this here for the front. A little weird, but basically what we need to do to kind of get us started. We're going to go ahead and then place down two uh, more rows of three of stone. And then on these last two rows of three, we're going to place down like racing us panes to both sides. 
And then we're gonna take iron trap doors, we're gonna go two forward from those glass panes and do the same technique before. Again, you can use birch wood trap doors as an alternative. So it'll look like that there. After that, uh, we wanna go ahead and then take our gray wool and we're gonna place down a row of three, followed by a second, then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Rows of three of gray wool across. We're gonna go then take our anisite walls and we're gonna build a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 walls across, and then two light gray stainless panes. The same thing is gonna be done over here on this side as well. And that right there will basically finish off that. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go and switch to our stripped birch wood. And we're going to place down a row of three of stripped birch wood. And you want to make sure your row of your birch wood um, is going to all be same, facing the same direction. So you keep that um, kind of pattern going straight. Um, you can go ahead and do it either way. But it's going to look weird if you have your lines kind of mixed matched or whatever. Because then it kind of throws off the pattern. So just make sure the grains go in the same way. Uh, we're going to go then place down two light gray stainless panes on these first two rows on the sides there. Uh, we're going to place down another row of three. After that, it's just going to be going across. So again, coming off those blocks there. And then we want to place down an iron trap door to the sides here. And then we're going to use our debug stick there to close those trap doors. We're going to go and then place down two more stone blocks back. And then again, two strip birchwood blocks down the center. Uh, we're going to place down there a strip birchwood block. This time with an anisite wall to both sides. And then we're going to place down iron bars. So two iron bars here. And two over here to go ahead and... Uh, finish off the sides there we're gonna go ahead and then take our strip birch wood place down two more blocks going down the center again two light gray stainless paints to the sides of those blocks and then on the very end here we're going to place down a stone block which is going to be flanked with a iron trap door on both sides and then a debug stick obviously to close those trap doors and then a and then an inside wall here on the very end and once you have that done that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer two so looking at from above here this is what it should look like um, again, the front's going to look a little weird with the random red and white uh, mixed in there, but it is going to be um, covered over and it's all going to make sense in the next layer. So uh, just make sure it's all correct there. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer three. Um, we're going to be going ahead and starting with the bow of the ship by placing down a smooth quartz slab on top of this um, and side wall here. And we also want to go ahead and take a birchwood sign and we're going to place it on these three sides here of the slab. Going back from that slab, we're going to place down another brick slab, then another uh, quartz slab, and then another um, nether brick slab. So you should have quartz, nether brick, quartz, nether brick. And again, this is the red nether brick. We're going to go ahead and place down two skeleton skulls on these middle two slabs. And then on this glass pane right here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle. So just like that to the sides there. And then going back from that skull, we're gonna place down two more skeleton skulls along the side here. In this middle space, we're gonna place down two daylight detectors. And then we wanna place down a case wood trap door on the walls to the side, then an iron trap door, then a red carpet to both sides, and then a white carpet to both sides. So it will look like this here. We're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves a piston and we're gonna place down a piston here in the center. If you are on a version other than Java, instead of a piston, I'd probably recommend just a stone full block uh, a piston here is going to be uh, used with a debug stick later on to actually modify the piston, so we'll be modifying the properties of it. Um, but again, I would recommend using a stone full block if you are not in Java and don't have access to a debug stick. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down two birchwood fence gates going forward from the um, block here, and we're going to open these toward it like that to go and create our barrels for our gun. Now, for my Java players, we can also go ahead and grab item frames and show some life rafts they had on the deck. We can place down item frames underneath these fence gates since they're open. And in those item frames, you can place down some white beds like that for those life rafts. So just a little simple detail there. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair back from the piston. And then we want to place down an item frame to both sides here of this stone block. And in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray bed. And again, this is going to be really only a Java feature as, um, you know, basically uh, we have this carpet here and the carpet and item frame can't be in the same block space unless on Java it can be. We're going to go then place down a stone block behind this uh, upside down stair. And then we want to go ahead and place down a lever that's going to go on top of this red uh, wool block on both sides. And if you're on Java, we'll also place down an item frame to kind of help show like a bit of a position there for the anti-aircraft gun. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks. We're going to build one, two, three, four uh, blocks down the center, um, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our um, glass panes. So like raised stainless panes, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five along the side here. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five. And then in this middle space here, we are going to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair, um, which will be positioned like so. After that, we're going to place down there a stone full block and then a stone upside down stair again to both sides. After that, we're going to place down there a stone block going back and then we want to place down a birchwood fence post to both sides. Another stone block in the middle followed by a skeleton skull on both ends. Another stone block, this one followed with a birchwood fence gate like this opened up toward the stone block and then a um, item frame on top of those fence gates just so we don't forget about it and we're going to go ahead and place down a white bed in those item frames like so. We're going to go and place down another stone block, another skeleton skull to both sides. Uh, we're going to go and then place down another stone block down the center here. And then on top of these walls, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a upside down stone brick stair. So that will be done on both sides there. And then a birchwood fence gate coming off the backs of the stairs here. And a birchwood sign also on the sides of these upside down stairs. Again, these are going to be our secondary guns on the side of the ship. Then we want to place down two more stone blocks down the center here. This will be followed with uh, scaffolding on the sides of them. And then we're going to place down another two stone blocks down the center. This time of birchwood fence gates opened up toward the side of the stone blocks. And on top of these, again, just so we don't forget, we'll be going ahead and using item frames and white beds for, again, some more life rafts. So like that. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a light gray bed, and we're going to place it down right here. This is going to be your torpedo launcher in the mid-deck area. Um, and we do want to have the white facing toward the front, as those would be the tips of the torpedoes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down another stone block, this time with a skeleton skull to both sides. Another stone block, and then a andesite wall on both sides. Then we're going to place down a stone block, followed by a stone upside down stair to the sides like so, and then a stone break upside down stair coming off that upside down stone stair. So it's gonna be like this to both sides there. Now coming off the stone brick stair, we're gonna go ahead and do another secondary gun. So our birchwood fence gates opened up toward the stair and then our birchwood signs on the side of the uh, stair like this. And that'll be it for that. We're gonna go then place down a stone block going back and then a iron trap door to both sides. Then another stone block and then a stone upside down stair, again, to both sides. Um, after that, we're going to place down two more stone blocks down the center, and then a andesite wall here on this, coming off the uh, two andesite blocks. We then want to go ahead and grab a white bed. We're going to place down a white bed on top of this glass pane here, to both sides for a uh, little boat um, or life raft on the side here. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever that is going to sit on top of this birchwood block to both sides. And again, if you're on Java, you can go ahead and place down an item frame underneath it to kind of make it look like more of an actual position there. Then coming off the inside wall, we're going to place down a stone block. Uh, we're going to do the same thing we did in the front here for our gun. So we'll place down a piston. Again, you can use a stone full block. Two fence gates going forward and open up toward the piston. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on both sides of the stair. Um, all versions can do this. And then we're going to place down a light gray bed in the item frame, rotated sideways, like so. And if you're on Java, we'll also place down a birchwood sign on the side of the stair as well. So again, um, on Java, you can place a sign. If you're not on Java, you won't be able to place a sign. Not really a big deal. Um, you can just have the item frame and the bed, and that would be perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and then take our birchwood pressure plates. We're going to place down three pressure plates on the sides here. Then we want to grab stone buttons. And we're going to place down two stone buttons down the center here then a birchwood pressure plate and then we're going to go ahead and just place down a end rod and then a um, iron bar on top of it like that to go ahead and wrap up the uh, rear of the ship. Now if you're on Java we can also go ahead and use our debug stick here to go ahead and do some modifications. So we're going to go ahead and build a block on top of the glass panes and then just out to the side here like this to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then grab levers and we're going to place down levers on the sides of these blocks. And then we want to go ahead and grab our debug stick. So we'll use our debug stick here. We'll left click this till we get selected faced. We're going to go and then right click this and we're going to set this to floor. And you basically get these end rod or these uh, levers on the 
on the tops here of these glass panes, which again, more anti-aircraft guns. And we're gonna go ahead and just place down some item frames on top of those glass panes like that to go ahead and get them like, all like positions there. And with that all done, that's gonna wrap up layer number three of the build. Here is a top-down view of what you should have. And as you can see, you're starting to get kind of the actual layout of the ship done. Um, but that is it for layer three. And with that, we'll be going ahead and hopping up to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to start with, we're gonna place down an iron bar on top of this um, slab here in the front. We then wanna go ahead and go to this stone full block. We're gonna place down a piston on top of it. And then we're gonna place down two birch with fence gates coming off of it, open up toward the piston. After that, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair here behind it, and then an item frame to both sides. Um, and again, for all versions here, we'll place down a light gray bed in the item frame, and then a birchwood sign on the side of the stair like that uh, for my Java players. We're going to go ahead and then place down a andesite wall, and then we're going to take our stone blocks, go back one, two, three, four stone full blocks, or rather, actually, sorry, um, three stone full blocks, and then a birchwood fence post. To the sides here, we're gonna go ahead and place down an end rod on top of this glass pane here. And then we're gonna place down a andesite wall on both sides of this last stone block. We then wanna go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick stair. We're gonna place down an upside down stone brick stair here to both sides of those walls. And then a birchwood fence gate coming off like this to go ahead and create those secondary batteries. We're gonna go ahead and place down a fence gate here in the center, this time with a skeleton skull on both sides of the fence gate, and then a stone brick stair like that. We're going to go and then place down two stone full blocks and another stone brick stair. After that, we're going to place down a white bed here. And then we want to place down a quartz stair to both sides and a quartz slab going back from the stair. And we're going to then take our birchwood signs and we're going to place down birchwood signs around the sides of the stair and the slab. Now, if you're on Java, you can place a sign here. If you're not on Java, I would recommend not so you can have these um, beds right here instead. Um, so again, Java places sign right there on the back. If not, if you're not in Java, then don't worry about it. So it's gonna look like that. After that's all done, uh, we wanna go ahead and then place down a spruce wood stair and a spruce wood slab back like that from it. Then uh, we're gonna go and grab our ben birchwood fence posts again. We're gonna place down a fence post here and then on top of these two walls. And then we wanna place down a light gray stainless pane here in the center and an air stone block back from that. Once we have that done, we're also going to place down a lever on these two stone up sound stairs, as well as an item frame underneath it if you're on Java. Um, we're going to also place down a light gray stained glass pane here, then a birchwood fence gate to both sides of the glass pane open up toward it. And then continuing on, we're going to place down two cobwebs going back, then a stone up sound stair again, a piston, and then we're going to have our two fence gates again open up toward the um, piston itself. An item frame on both sides of the stone stair, a light gray bed in the item frame, and then a birchwood sign on the side here of the stair. So just like that. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap that up. And also we want to go ahead and place down another anti-aircraft gun or another lever right here with a item frame again underneath it. So it will basically create that. And once you have that all done there, that is going to wrap up uh, what we have there for um, layer number four of the build and at this point in time for my Java players We can go ahead and go to our pistons We can left click these to get selected extended false prompt pop up And we'll then right click them and get rid of the wood portion and what this does It basically helps us shape the guns to be a little bit more accurate to how they would have actually been on the Trento Anyways though that is gonna wrap up everything we have for layer four and with that We'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number five moving into our next layer We have layer number five for layer five to go ahead and get started with here We're gonna place down a stone brick full block on top of this stone block here To both sides of the block we're gonna place down a trip or a hook And then we want to go ahead and also place down a skeleton skull coming off the front here of this block We're gonna go ahead and then take a stone Stop slab and we're gonna place it down here and then a skeleton skull to both sides and there's stone slab right there and then a stone upside down stair coming off the sides of the stone slab so it's gonna be like that after that is all done we're gonna go ahead and then place down a stone stair here and a skeleton skull on both sides of this stone stair and then a birchwood fence gate come off this the front of the stair opened up toward it like so uh, we then want to place down one and two stone blocks and then a iron trap door on both sides here again you can use birchwood trap doors as an alternative and we'll use the same technique that we did before to basically close those blocks like that 
After we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone up downstairs on top of this fence post. And behind it, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of the stair and the top slab. And then we're going to take our end rods and we're going to place down three end rods going forward from that stair with a skeleton skull on the tip there. After that is done, we're going to go ahead and then place down another stone block here. And a iron trap door, which we'll go ahead and close again with our debug stick. And an iron trap door on top of these fence gates with a iron trap door on top or with the iron trap door we're going to go and then place down an item frame on the sides of the iron trap door and we're going to go and then place down a snowball in the item frame for my java players we're going to go ahead and then place down an andesite wall if you're not on java i'd recommend probably just a stone block but for my java players we'll place down a wall and we'll build a block that's kind of to the side here of that wall and then we're going to place down tripwire hooks and we'll use our debug stick here to rotate these so that they come off the side of the wall and again, um, you can use a stone full block as an alternative. Then uh, we also want to go ahead and place down a block here on top of here. And again, this can be more of a Java only feature. We're going to place down a lever, use the same techniques as before to bring the lever on top of this cobweb. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and place it on top there as well. Um, once you have that done though, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer 5. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything appears to be good to go. So with that, that's going to conclude layer 5 and we'll be moving on to layer number 6. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6 to start with, we're going to place down an iron bar on top of the skeleton skull. And then a redstone repeater right behind it with the notches spread apart. We're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on top of these two stairs with item frames underneath them for my Java players. And then a piston on top of this stair right here. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate coming off the front of the piston opened up toward it and then a birchwood sign on the back of the piston like so. We then want to place down a black concrete block and then after that black concrete block we're going to place down a polished blackstone slab and then we're going to place down dark oak wood signs around the polished blackstone slab like that. Then continuing on back we're going to place down another brick fence post that's going to go off of um, this block up here in the front of the stone stair and then a dark oak wood fence gate right behind it. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a barrier block on Java. They're also known as structure void blocks, basically an invisible block that you can put a button or attach a button to. And we're going to place down a barrier block here to both sides of this fence post and then a button coming off the side facing forward like so. After that we're going to go ahead and also place down skeleton skulls coming off the fence gates just like that or actually sorry they're going to be coming off the skeleton skulls so you're actually going to place them so that they're on top of the skeleton skulls and not coming off the fence gate uh we're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone stair here and again we're going to take our dark liquid signs and we're going to go ahead and wrap them around the sides here of the stair so just like that and once you have that all done there that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number uh six of the build and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our last final layers moving into our final layers we have layers 7 through 14 to go ahead and get started with this we're going to go ahead and go to this piston we're going to place down a stone block on top of it and then to the sides of it we're going to place down an andesite wall on the sides of the andesite walls we're going to have birchwood signs on the front and back sides of the walls and then to the sides here we're going to place down an end rod so just like that to both sides now on top of these walls, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, and then another andesite wall here in the center. On top of this andesite wall, we're going to place down a stone brick full block with a lever to both sides, an item frame on the front, a black bed in the item frame, and if you're on Java, a birchwood sign on the front there as well. Then on the very top of it, we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches spread apart, and then a iron bar on top of the repeater like that. On the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever. It's going to come off this stone block and then taking our end rods we're going to go ahead and go up with two end rods then an iron bar and then a iron trap door on the very top here to go ahead and finish the front uh, mass off and also we want to go ahead and take our debug stick and for my java players we'll go ahead and right click that piston right there to go ahead and um, basically uh, create that design there for it now, once we have that all finished there, uh, we want to go ahead and then go back to this section. And we're going to place down a another brick fence post on top of this one. We then also want to go ahead and place down a barrier block going up from the ones from the previous layer. And we're going to place down buttons on the side here that we did before, but also this side out to the side like that. We then want to place down a polished blackstone wall on top here. A dark oak with fence gate on both sides of the wall opened up toward it. 
and then we want to go ahead and place down an end rod that's going to come off this wall so it's going to look like that there then go ahead and key tune up we're going to place down two nether brick fence posts up and then we're going to place down two end rods like so and then two iron bars up like that and then we just want to go ahead and take an end rod and we're going to place down an end rod on both sides here of this end rod like that now we're going to take our barrier blocks and we're going to go ahead and place down two going up from this end rod to the end rod above it and we then want to go ahead and take our stone buttons and wrap them around here on these uh, barrier blocks then after we have that done we're going to go ahead and then place down a chain that's going to come off both sides of this iron of this iron bar on the top here and that's going to complete your rear mass now all we need to do uh, left is to go ahead and basically connect these so what we're going to do here is we're going to place down two barrier blocks coming off the center or this first end rod so two barrier blocks down then we want to go ahead and drop down from this and go forward and then we're going to go ahead and go out to the side of two barrier blocks we delete these middle two ones we just placed so you should have just have these two barrier blocks here to the sides we're going to go and then go one more forward from those then we want to go ahead and drop down like this and then forward two more barrier blocks and we're going to do the same thing right here then after that uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a barrier block that's going to come off these end rods up here and then we want to go ahead and go up and uh, up and then back too and it should kind of connect up with our row that we created so it should look like this here for it so kind of a diagonal line going down to do this uh, to do the actual cabling we're going to place down a button here a button underneath this is this one the side bottom side bottom side bottom side and that's going to create your cabling and you do the same thing here on both sides so you have side bottom side bottom side bottom side and then we already have one on the bottom here and that's going to be on the side there so that's going to basically create your cabling there um, for the um, rigging here for the ship and after we have that all done that is going to wrap up everything we have for uh, this build and that's going to conclude um, everything we have for RN Trento um, anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this build. If you guys do end up using it, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been the thing from a sign of the build, tweak to my channel, or this video if this does bring social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free for a project you guys are working on. Uh, with that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2x4, and I will see you guys next time.